my sophomore year of high school, I had a friend, she had a boyfriend. They wanted me to go on a date with one of his friends. They were like, he's a great guy, like you'll like him a lot. I had nothing going on. So I was like, okay, why not? We kind of just walked around, we went and got smoothies and stuff. And it was like a double date. He wasn't talking much at first, so it was a little awkward. So I wanted to start the conversation and be like, so what do you do for a living? Like what kind of hobbies or sports do you do? He was like, oh, well, I'm a clown. I was like, what do you mean you're a clown? He was like, yeah, like, that's what I do. Like, I'm a clown, like, at the Dayton Screen Park. And I was like, oh, really? And he was like, yeah, do you want to rate my, like, killer clown costumes? I guess so. So he was showing me all these things. And I felt so awkward because, like, that's all he was telling me. And he also showed up late. He said that his clown name, Bubbly the Clown, or I think his name was Logan, but I just didn't see him as that anymore. And he said he won Clown of the Year Award. I just never talked to him again after that. Okay, so me and my uh, friend were hanging out with these two girls. Uh, I think we just like went to McDonald's and then we were like sitting in the parking lot. The one girl was kept getting like these calls and she kept declining it. And finally she was like, this guy keeps calling me and he's like texting me like nonstop, like where I'm at. After like two minutes, she opened up her phone. And it was like 36 text messages from this guy and like 18 missed phone calls. So we're like, we're just like, yeah, just answer it. Like, we'll be quiet. Like, we won't say anything. Just answer it and talk to him real quick. So she answers it and he picks up the phone and he's like, girl's name where are you and he's freaking out and she's like i'm literally at home with my brother and his friends like we're not we're just chilling in the basement right now and he's like let me talk to him i don't believe you and then like he stops for a second he starts crying and he's like girl's name like where are you and he's crying he's like i don't believe you like i know you're lying to me like where are you at and we're in the back dying laughing and we have to like hold it in because we don't want him to hear him and then he starts yelling. He's like, swear on Georgia's life that you're at home. Georgia is like her dog. And she's like, I swear on Georgia's life, I'm out, I'm at home. He's like, I know you're lying. You're out with other guys. I know it. And he's still crying and we're cracking up. He's like, FaceTime me so I can see where you're at. She's like, no, I'm not FaceTiming you. And he's like, I won't even be mad if you're out with other guys. Just tell me, I don't want you to be lying. And then like after probably like a 10 minute phone call, she finally tells him and then he was he was ticked after she told him. So back when I first started working at TC, I was on a bunch of dating apps. There was this one time where I connected with this girl named Carrie for like two weeks where we're texting each other back and forth. So eventually I worked up the courage to be like, hey, you wanna go get a burger? So the day that we were supposed to get pizza arrives and I get a call from my mom and my mom says, hey, your your grandfather's passed away. And of course that hit me hard. You know, I needed, I needed to sit there for a minute and kind of process my grief. And uh, in the middle of this, one of the thoughts that crossed my mind is like, I'm about to go on this date. Should I, should I text her and just cancel? But I decided, no, no, I need a win. So I decided to go on the date anyway. I hop in my car and I drive to the pizza place and I wait there for a couple of minutes and finally uh, Carrie shows up and I'm ecstatic. We get over to our table and we order our pizza and we start having good conversation. You know, we're, we're chatting back and forth about like career and how she likes art and how I'm a teacher and how she used to be a teacher. And I even uh, followed her dogs on Instagram like, I think I'm killing it on this date. I feel like I'm being just like super funny and relatable. And like, I'm sure there's going to be a second date. And things wrap up and I pay for the pizza. I walk her to her car and I say, you know, I had a really great time with you. I, I hope we do it again. And she puts out her hand for a handshake. On the day that my grandfather died, this girl that I was excited to be on a date with shakes my hand and I never see her again.